What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off happened last time, I attacked Christiana and was attacked by a massive force of uh, Danish um, militia. So now I've decided to attack the garrison because they're going to be benefiting from home field advantage from the uh, from replenishment, whereas I am not. So I may as well fight them now while my troops are currently at their strongest. And I'm feeling pretty confident because the, the, the reinforcing army has been mauled quite severely from my troops. Um, who are still, you know, re of reasonable strength. So let's crack on. If I attack the end of the uh, Danish faction, which will be good for me because they've been a bit frustrating to play against. Right, yes, let's get, let's get cracking. So again, I have the artillery advantage. Okay, so the reinforcements coming from the left, I want to say. So it's tempting. Do I advance on the left with the explicit instruct, uh, the explicit goal of of attacking their infantry as they move in? It's an interesting proposal. So that's how I set up my gun line. And I set up a strong infantry force to move up. And I had a strong infantry force covering the right. I probably want to group these guys going up here as well. Yes, 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 I'm correct, I'm correct, I'm correct. Good, 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 good. So this way, they won't be able to form up the way they want. Artillery, don't worry about them. Fire at that unit of armed citizenry. Okay, you can't really hit anything else, in which case I'm going to limber you up, ready to move. Come on, let's hit them. Hit their reinforcements as they come in. Those ours are doing lots of chopping, but eventually they will break. Cut them off from their reinforcements. Before they can form up and when they're still quite bottlenecked. So they are coming to join, the city's garrison are coming to join them. Well, if I can destroy their garrison, their, their reinforcements before they even get onto the field, 
or you know before they even get into a position to be able to form up then that's pretty pretty neat I'm gonna want to move run my units up into positions I don't like how they look so I'm moving two units up. To be honest, I'm probably going to move you up to just about here to lob shells at their battle line or their main battle line. Here comes a brand new fresh box of troops. And they're also getting shot at, even though they're not currently under control of the eye yet. Broken. Let's pick one of these foot units to come up here. Maybe set up here. on the offensive big old union of militia but I'm not afraid of them number still fire artillery still fire round shot sorry Some of them are going to break through and make it to the uh, make it to the battle line. The majority of them are probably not going to make it. to lobby shells no let's limber you up and put you on the flank then i suppose here comes the general well that is the general reload man reload Wait for this man he's ready Firing canister. There they are. So some of their units have kind of bled through, but they're, we're currently bleeding them. Yes, wines. Somewhere there's going to be an artillery set coming in. 
God knows where it is, unless it's going to trot in behind me somewhere. Trot in here. Which if it is, I'll just send one of them in to go maul it. Excellent. So then let's move up my battle line, bring in my reserve units. Ah, they've come back. So let's put you out on this flank and just keep plinking at their at their formation. Encouraged local superior force. Turn off fire well for you. And this could be the handy thing about militia, is because they start off with such large units that you actually need to kill a surprising amount of them to make them rout. Good. You're still feeling like you got a superior force, guys? Right, so I'm going to assume the game does an okay job at modelling firing artillery through trees. It can just count them as sticks, and if they hit the stick, then they bounce off, that kind of thing. Uh, 23rd Regiment of Militia, you've made a mistake big time by coming back. which case then put you back here and I need to get get a unit of dragoons on the right let's get there and threaten them charge them God knows what I should do with this artillery. speed it up a bit because right now it's just my army reforming a line but yes that's thankfully the reinforcing army sorted Okay, so let's unlimber my artillery on the flank. I spend a bit of time shooting at them. Then they're moving up.
get your asses into position. Maybe make both of them focus fire this unit, because this unit on the end might seem mighty exposed. So I'm going to need to throw in my militia, my throw in my uh, cavalry. So that's my artillery on the flank in the battle line, however. Just load and fire canister shot. You'll be ready for when the time comes. Present fire. Let's move them up because I do want to start some shooting. Ooh, left unit all the way back here. You can be a reserve, fire at will to turn off, good. Not all happy. But it is because they've been they are under extreme pressure. Send my cavalry after them. Which one? This unit on the flank, okay. So let's scoot you in. Maybe send you into combat. Canister shots. Combatants even. Throw him into combat, I suppose. Ones that don't have a choice. So the ones that do get your asses over here. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Hit the militia garrison. This is what happens when you don't, when you have units that have no ammunition. You go, what do I do? Well, you just, if you've got enough of them together, you may as well throw them in. And this is where the bulk of their forces. This is where the rest of their forces are. into that unit of line because we've got a good angle on them solid block so there shouldn't be any risk of them missing and hitting my blob of troops because it's this section that they're aiming at Men 
For now. No way, they're not in. He's not in range yet. Rally. To be honest, this should crack them because they're gonna. They're gonna be surrounded. Get him! And these guys are going to get... Yeah, there we go, that's the end of them. Halt artillery. There's one unit here of militia militiamen. Swarm, swarm, swarm. I'm just going to speed up. Well, not my general staff, obviously. It's one unit in the woods. So they're like, where, where are they? Where are they? Where are they coming? What are we going to do? What's the plan? They could just see, ah, just a load of angry Brits with their flags storming through the trees. But that's them. This is the combat we've got involved in. This is what we have to do. Huzzah! Huzzah! Let's end it. <laughs> Definitely. Holy moly. Occupy, because it's the principal at this point. <laughs> Good, they're all replenishing slowly. Do I want a dockyard here? Not. Not really. Money's more helpful. Like I said I'm not really running at a source of tall timber is essential for building. Mm. Plus one is the re recruitment costs for all naval units in this region. Ooh, in which case then I probably might want to keep you then. Yeah, I'll keep you. Keep an army at the bottleneck of the the Baltic. Cool, let's bring my spy back down to France. He can walk. Sweet. Then let's build a court of justice in in kind of um, Cardiff. Oh, fine. Build research diamond formation. It's so keen to do so. Court of justice can be researched in three turns. So I'm waiting for this big French army to come storming up from the south. Like you know where. Where it came from. Where it went. Sorry, I don't know where the hell it went. But once this army is replenished, I'll bring them back down to Copenhagen. And then we shall... Oh, then we shall bring Arthur Wellesley to, to Spain, I think. Start or take Gibraltar so we can secure this port and keep this bottleneck well and truly closed, and then we can just expand our trade empire to the west. Right, let's hit and turn because I am poor. Okay, here come the French. Oop, and the French have fled. I would like to build walls as well, I want to build a fortification. I'm going to presume defending a fort is this is pretty similar to defending a fort and empire. Ah, stupid phone! Stop going off! Um, yes, I think, I presume there's no real difference into how forts are actually 
defended near the actual mechanics because generally things have been quite similar i mean the research trees are different and various bits and bobs have changed but i doubt the core mechanic of that has actually changed very much so let's a new nation arises the kingdom of greece the kingdom of greece let us trade excellent Recruitment report. Yeah, it's just actually firstly before they before start gumming up the uh, the side of the Atlantic with trade ships. So what's the still what's the most valuable resource? Ivory still by a country mile, so So we'll go down to the ivory. Ah, hello. You want to go to trading port, do you? No, you don't. Chomp. <laughs> oh, I love it. Get more third rate, and that will be a solid uh, naval fleet. Solid battle fleet, I think, under him. Then shall we enlist an admiral? Let's make it a cheap one. All right, so just do so. Oh, it's plus one. Ooh, master blockader plus two to command and commanding frigates. No, these aren't frigates, but I want to I want to have a, a frigate captain. You know, a a ship which is or a fleet which is lower tier, like third rate highest, but mostly be fourths and just smaller fifths and sixths that's the that's the kind of fleet i'd like horatio nelson is also a carpenter tech advances okay so we've finally got diamond formation yippee so instead go for logistics you go for playways mines don't have a lot of mines instead i'd probably like do mass product. Mm, do steam engine. Help me generate some more revenue first. Let's see if I can get rid of my. Yes, we finally get someone. That gives us bonuses. Oh, we know lots of good bonuses. Thirteen thousand a turn. Delicious. I'm probably gonna want to crew an admiral. I'm not gonna put a great arsenal. I want to recruit some Royal British Fusiliers. Then I can crew unit of line. Start to build up another army to land on France. Cause I've got a feeling this guy is gonna feel mighty isolated. Oh, and I meant to be. I was meant to be uh, saving up to buy walls, nadgers, maybe next turn. So how are you doing? Yeah, I'm I'm okay with them taking a bit of time to replenish because it keeps their experience up. That I could just walk him back to Copenhagen because we got allies with Spain. In which case, then I want this fleet. So John Jarvis, you get over here. Well, actually, no, you can't. Yeah, can this frigate do it? He can do it. To be honest, actually, if I'm going to be doing... Oh, no, I can't really... I need to build a new dry dock. Guy Ambler. Should I say just a foul? Six inch... Six... Six pounders, but see... Six inch horse artillery. I'm like, it's either really small or really big. Yeah. But you're going to stay there till the army's in safely in Copenhagen. And then I can pull you back and get you redeployed. Armchair General Joss Hathaway, gentlemen. Hmm. And Calvin Shovel, Minister. Fa faithful wife, plus one happiness. He's a good guy. Lovely. Okie dokie, let's hit end turn and let things tick on one more turn because nothing massive can happen unless the French attack me. 
Oh, you're play you're playing it fast and loose by cutting through my territory. I might be redeploying half the wells in northern France. That's what looks like might be happening. <laughs> Cause uh yeah. They 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 definitely aren't running out of troops. That's one thing I'd say. Oh, here come the Batavian Republic. You swines, there goes my 13,000 income. You are losing money hand over fist. Very soon there will be no money left in your treasury. There are several things you can do to lift yourself out of the fire. <laughs> out of the fire? <laughs> what were you about to say? So let's bring your two fourth rates over to here to join these ships. So I'm stealing your ships, frigate captain. Sorry. I'm going to sail them over here to engage Albert Sutter. Who has got... Some ships of the line. 50, 60 brigs. 38 guns. 74, 64. Eh, got some nice ships. Well, I got some big ships too. Um, but anyway, looking at the timer, I think that'll be for the, something to do during the next part. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.